Good morning. Welcome to a regular meeting of Hardin County Commissioner's Court. Today is Monday, March 28, 2016, and it, it is 10 a.m., and the meeting is called to order. With all members present. Everyone will please rise for the invocation by Pastor Ray McNames. Pastor? Father, we are so grateful for this day, and Father, I ask your blessing upon this day and upon these that are here. Father, we're thankful for our freedom. We're thankful, Father, for this group of people that will lead and direct, and Father, for each decision that is made, and Father, for the plans. We just ask God your blessing. Father, I thank you for the call that you've put on our lives, and Father, for these elected officials, for all those that are here, God, that your blessing rest on them, and Father, may they walk in peace today and in your plan and your purpose. For that, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Mr. Kirkendall, will you lead the place? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner. Yes, sir. <laughs> Item number four, Glenda Austin, County Clerk. Approval of minutes of prior meetings. Good morning, Ms. Austin. Good morning. Uh, that would be the, a regular session on March the 14th and a special session on March the 21st. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Roberts and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number five, Deborah McWilliams, County Treasurer. Presentation and approval of registry claims to be canceled by court. Good morning, Ms. McWilliams. Good morning. I'm asking that the court release me of the liability of $959,426.91. These were the vouchers uh, that were presented in the commissioner's court on March 14th. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion <laughs> passes unanimously. Number six, Deborah McWilliams, presentation and approval of cash statement. Uh, on March 28th on our cash report and general checking account, we have $1,590,071.13. In our investment account at Wells Fargo, we have $6,335,598.59. In our tech school general account, we have $6,500,697.45 for a total cash funds of $14,426,367.17. I've also listed the interest rate for Wells Fargo and Tech School on here. I move we accept the cash statement. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Ms. McWilliams. Item number seven, Angela Gore, County Auditor, Payment of County Bills. Good morning, Ms. Gore. Good morning. The pre-approved expenditures and transfers for March the 15th, 2016 were $194,492.39. Pre-approved expenditures for March the 22nd, 2016 was $27,702.77. And today, March the 28th, 2016, the expenditures for Commissioner's Court are $360,432.81. The total expenditures and transfers are $582,627.97. Gross payroll for March the 17th, 2016 was $434,646.74. FICA was $31,674.37. Retirement was $59,080.70. The total transfers for March the 17th payroll was $525,401.81. Move to pay the county bill. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion <coughs> passes unanimously. Item number eight, introduction of newly hired personnel by their department heads. What I'm going to do is uh, just go through the list and call everybody to come up and then let you introduce some, uh, your, your uh, new employees one at a time. Uh, the first one is Kristen White, our veteran service officer. If you'll come up, please. 
Uh, Commissioner Kirkendall will introduce Francisco Perez, a light equipment operator. Misty Whitney, the purchasing agent, will introduce Patricia Mitchum. Chief Monica Kelly, Juvenile Probation Department, has some new detention officers who cannot be here. They're part-time and they have other jobs, but we want to recognize them. And that is Joseph Boyd, Teresa Myers, Shalisha Scott, and Kristen Verde. Sheriff Kane has a new dispatcher, Rebecca Dickens. Linda Austin, County Clerk, has uh, three new deputy clerks, Jamie Lamberth, Stacy Grams, and Kayla Kraft. Uh, district I'm sorry, Dana Hogg, the district clerk, has two new deputy clerks, Kim McWilliams and Darlene Creamer. David Sheffield, the district attorney, has one new employee, uh, Teresa Grimes, victim coordinator and liaison. And Valerie Stewart with the Crime Victims Assistance Center has three new employees to introduce, and that's Karen Darby, Laura Gutierrez, and Jennifer Coleman. <coughs> Kristen White, she is our new uh, veteran service officer. Uh, she started about uh, two weeks ago. She's retired from the Navy, and uh, she has a lot of uh, great ideas. She's here to serve the veterans of Hardin County, and uh, we're very glad to have her. She lives in Batson. And so we will welcome Kristen to Hardin County. I'd like to introduce uh, Frank Perez. Uh, Frank came to us. He's retired. He's a retired plumber uh, from the local, and he's uh, also um, a uh, Vietnam veteran uh, from, uh, from, from uh, Vietnam. But he's done an excellent job since he's been working with us. Uh, we've had more calls and compliments on what, uh, on what he's doing mowing than I think I have since I've been in office. So I appreciate Frank and appreciate all the hard work he does, and so we welcome you aboard. Misty's next. There you are. This is Ms. Pat Mitchum. She is a retired school teacher from Pence ISD, so there's a lot of familiar faces around here for her. She's doing a great job on that. Next will be uh, Sheriff Kane. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Becky, as I know her, not Rebecca. I never called her Rebecca. I've known her a couple of years, uh, I guess, since she and I both were born. Uh, and never knew she was interested in being a dispatcher, but she retired from Port Arthur Police Department and then uh, decided she wanted to go back to work. She didn't like retirement, so she was working with the KD and EMS as a uh, dispatcher and has come to us now. For those of you sitting up here that know how tough that dispatching job is, she's handling it real well, so we're glad to have her. Uh, this is Jane Lambert, Stacy Grimes, and Kalea Kraft, and I'm so happy to have them. And uh, I want to welcome all three of them. Miss Kraft, I'm sorry, I got your name wrong. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Kalea, Kalea just started this morning. So, sorry. Well, welcome to Hardin County. steak and candy for cookie. <laughs> Uh, Valerie? All right, I'll start on this end. First, I have Jennifer Coleman. She is our volunteer coordinator, and she's been with me now for about six months and doing an awesome job. She has some former experience with women women's shelter in Beaumont. In the middle is Laura Rojas Gutierrez, and uh, we were blessed this year to have a position on our grant that included a bilingual position. So Laura come with some great recommendations from the WIC department because she would bring people to WIC uh, just to help translate for them. She's been a great asset for some other departments around and uh, she's willing to help anybody. So y'all just remember that we do have a bilingual. Uh, on the end is Karen Darby. Karen come from us from Dana Hawk's office and Karen came with a lot of experience. She 
also has worked for a center in Belmont, and uh, so she was familiar with our um, our protective orders and all our other forms. Very blessed to have all three. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you all again very much for coming this morning and uh, introducing your new staff members to the court. <coughs> Number nine, special recognition of personnel by their department head for meeting years of service milestones as follows. Item A, we have Vera Manning in the juvenile probation department being recognized today for 20 years of service. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. Next, we have James Young with Rodenbridge Precinct 2 being recognized for 20 years of service. I think most everybody here probably knows Mark, and uh, Mark is a tremendous asset to Hardy County Precinct 2. Uh, during all the last rains, Mark will get out of his house on Sunday, and he'll go ride, and he'll, he'll know what we need to do on Monday, uh, even before I even get in the office. A lot of times he'll share that with us, and other times he makes us figure it out. But <laughs> Mark, uh, Mark is a great asset to Hardin County. It is a pleasure. Uh, Mark's one of the type of guys that he does such a good job, you really forget that he's out there because he does such a great job. Takes care of the equipment, and uh, I'm proud to uh, work with him and uh, proud to be his friend. So, Mark. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Next, we have Elizabeth Fobbs with the Juvenile Probation Department being recognized for 15 years of service. Ms. Liz came to us part-time as a juvenile detention officer 15 years ago. She then moved into uh, the adult, I mean the uh, Juvenile Justice Alternative Education Program, which is our JJAEP, which is our school here in the county for kids that get expelled from their home school. She also, stays, she also stays all day long at the safety aid in the classroom, so her morning starts very early and it ends very late every single day of the school year. She's off in the summer, however, she does help out in detention if we need her, but Miss Liz is a huge asset, and some of the kids are a little scared of her, so they behave a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll figure it out later. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was figuring. Uh, next, we have Miss Audrea Gilbert in the tax office being recognized for 10 years of service. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's my honor to represent the tax office in presenting Miss Audrea Gilbert with her 10 year certificate. Miss Audrea is works in the voter registration department and she is an asset to our office. She's also the comedic uh, relief sometimes. <laughs> so believe it or not, a pastor's wife for many, many years, but she is she can handle us and she does a really good job and we just love her and appreciate her so much. Excellent. Congratulations. Next, we have Mr. Carl Hardy with Rodenbridge Precinct 4 being recognized for 10 years of service. Um, when I took office, I inherited Carl, and uh, I'm glad I did. This, this guy knows the precinct. He knows all, all the people in the precinct. He knows the bad parts of the precinct, which he keeps me informed of, and he keeps all my guys in line, So, and, and that's a real important thing. 
And uh, I know I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't have taken office and done anything without him. He's been a real, real asset. I appreciate the call. He's also the father of the best grade all operator in the county. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last but not least, we have Sabrina Mangum from the Sheriff's Office being recognized for 10 years of service. Sabrina came to us 10 years ago. Sabrina came to us 10 years ago as a disciplinary uh, jailer. Worked her way up to jail supervisor, and then uh, here just a couple of years ago decided she wanted to come over to our office, and she's been a great asset to us. Not that she wasn't in the jail, but she's done a great job in numerous things, uh, too many to, to name here, but she is able to handle the job real well, does the county a real good job, and the Sheriff's Office does so. We appreciate having you. Congratulations. Item number 10, adoption of resolution number 10-16, designating authorized signatures for contractual documents and documents for requesting funds pertaining to the Texas Community Development Block Grant Program. <coughs> Contract number 721-5199. Move. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Item number 10, Glenda Austin. Canvassing of votes for March 1st, 2016 primary election. Okay, uh, Judge, I did get the um, um, canvas of the um, election from the uh, Republican Party. Yes, ma'am. But I never did get one from the Democrat Party. Okay. I do have my email where I emailed her. And she said <clears throat> she mailed her certificate, but I never got it. Okay. So are we going to just uh, canvass the Republican? Well, they were canvassed Austin. Okay. We did get a we did get a, a notice from Austin that they were. So we just need to accept that. Yeah. Okay. So moved. Second. Right. I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Roberts to accept the canvassing of votes for March first, two thousand sixteen primary election, and would just like to note that uh, we've only received the Republican canvass. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Ms. Austin. You're welcome. Number 12, Toy Ackridge with the Health Department. Discussion and possibly approve renewal of the Public Health Emergency Preparedness Grant for fiscal year 2016. Good morning, Toy. Good morning. How are y'all? Good. The grant is due tomorrow for proposal to the state, for presentation to the state. It's exactly the same as last year. The only thing we changed, we pulled some of the uh, travel away because we won't have those particular things to go to this year. Uh, the total proposal is $222,307. The match is $20,222. That's our 10% required match from the state. And um, uh, can you just say, is that any different from last year on the match? No, sir. It's all the same. So it's the same? Yes, sir. On the next page is our personnel. You'll find that we have our planner in Orange County, a planner here in Hardin County, the epidemiology, and myself. We cover both counties. Total salaries, <clears throat> excuse me, are $133,274 with fringe benefits of $47,939. All of the percentage was, percentages will stay the same as they were last year as well. The next page is for travel, and those are our required quarterly meetings that we go to. And that total is 8448 Then on your next page for local travel and other, that's an additional $3,738, totaling all travel costs at $18,762. Your next page on your other cost or any trainings that are added additionally throughout the year. 
and any registration fees totaling <clears throat> 2110 The next page is your personnel match for the epidemiologist at $8,386. That's your 10% match. The supplemental travel is the next page, and that's for our National Hurricane Con Conference PHP Summit and the Homeland Security Conference, which totals 8448 and then your last page is our other cost, which is also included in the match, and that's our monthly bills as far as cable, cell phones, and our copier lease, totaling 88.20. And I encourage each one of you, we've tried to email you our plans for Hardin and Orange County, so you'll be aware, but the documents are too big. so. If you'd like for me to print them out or encourage you to come by the office, I'd like for each one of you to sit down and so you can read our plans and know exactly what we do here in the county and what we are obligated to do in Orange County as well. So whenever you get time, if you wanna drop by, we're always there. We do more than shots. So I want you guys to know what exactly we required to do by the state. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. I move that we approve the renewal of the Public Health Emergency Preparedness Grant for fiscal year 2016. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Toy. Item number 13, Deputy Richard Nelson with the Sheriff's Office present results of committee regarding a pilot program for Employee Safety Award. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Item number 14, Commissioner L.W. Cooper, Jr., Precinct 1, approval of Exhibit A, page 2 of the Hawthorne Field mm -hmm. Hangar layout. Judge, Commissioners, if you'll look in your packet, uh, there's an item in there, this uh, mark Exhibit A, page 2. What this is is a preliminary drawing of uh, proposals for future uh, hangar layouts. Uh, Exhibit A itself page one has already been approved through the court and the uh, sites that were on uh, page one have been spoken for in the process of being surveyed at this time so we have a preliminary drawing for uh, my secretary has uh, numerous people that are interested in in future development on uh, hangar so this is a preliminary drawing that I would request the court to approve and I would put that in form of a motion Second. have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 15, Teresa Wigley, Emergency Management Coordinator. Permission to appoint a committee to evaluate proposals for emergency debris monitoring services and emergency disaster vegetative debris site. <coughs> uh, Commissioner Pelt and Commissioner Kirkendall, y'all served on that in the past. Do y'all agree to serve again? Yes, yes. sir. And then uh, also have uh, Scott Westhoven, the foreman for Precinct 2, and Robert Harrison, the foreman for Precinct 1. I think Teresa spoke to both of them, and they agreed to serve. And, of course, Teresa Wigley will be on the committee as well. If I could have a motion to appoint that committee. So moved. Wait, wait, was Carl? Wasn't no, Carl sir. on there, too? You want me to ask Carl? Well, you'd ask. And well, we, we just need five, so. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, okay. I told him he was on it, so. Well, all right, we'll take, uh, Teresa won't be on the committee. You'll just be there to consult with them and we'll have uh, Carl Hardy on the committee. So if I could have a motion to that effect. So okay. moved. Have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Cooper. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Item number 16, Misty Whitney, purchasing agent. Permission to appoint a committee to evaluate statements of qualification from qualified consultants to apply for flood mitigation grant regarding possible buyouts. Misty.
So moved. Second. second. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor of appointing this committee? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Move to adjourn. Second. We'll stand adjourned. Okay. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he'll, he'll be good with that. I think all of us here. Oh, is there two? No, there's just one. All right. Let them in the book. Yeah. Appreciate all y'all coming Thursday.